so welcome back here is our little high flyer he's um he's pretty cool um we've actually had him in the little toss basket i've got it's quite big plenty of room for him for since we've had him um he's quite wild this thing um i'm gonna try and build him his own little kit box basically just because um you know i kind of want to keep him separate and from the main racing pigeons and i want to get him his own little cool little kind of kit box um i'll go into what i'm going to do in a minute um but he's a beautiful little pigeon look at him um and then we need to figure out if it is male or female it's just so hard for me to tell with this um and then we'll try and get a partner for him and we can start breeding him in his own little kit box that's that's the plan um i have been worming him and trying to feed him a fair bit because obviously when he come in his condition was pretty poor um, and he had a lot of a lice on him as well so i've been spraying all his lice um, and trying to deworm him as well just before he goes anywhere near the other birds in there um, but i don't think he's going to now we might just get a pair from him um, and try and tame him up i'd like to get him feeding from my hand as well because he's pretty cool nice little eye on him but um yeah let's have a look at his little kit box we're going to be so i've still got a few little bits of um scrap material here um, I don't really want to throw it out I want to try and reuse it because a lot of this stuff is just stuff I'm reusing I've got um, all this timber up here that we can use for framing up a little kit box we've got six pieces um, we got some of this for doors um, we can put a little bob trap in there look I've even got dowels here too look at this um, heaps of good little bit of timber up there we can use and what I have been getting is this here um, I've been seeing these laying around in the bins um, so I'm, I grabbed them because look at the um, the actual stain on this is awesome. Well, not the stain, but I mean the grain. Um, it looks really cool and it's quite good quality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, make something up out of that frame, and then I'm going to clad it in this stuff. And what I might do is, um, you know, sand this up really nice and smooth, and then put like a stain over it so it really brings out um, the actual grain in this because it just looks really good. Um, and we'll make him like a really cool little box um, just enough room for him and a pair and maybe when we've got him down on eggs or chicks we can let him out and see if we can get them flying because um, yeah be interesting to see how they fly all you guys reckon they fly awesome so uh, I want to build a kit box I really like kit boxes actually I've got some um, wire floor there we can use as like a wire floor or wire front whatever we've got heaps of material here we can make something pretty cool um, maybe even a little bob trap for him. I might have to order some bob traps. Um, yeah, so drop down some comments. Let me know what you think. But um, really good timber this for a cr crates. That's why I just had to grab it. These are just normal crates, so I can make something pretty cool. Look at it. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later.